this is not just military terminology. No, this, no, absolutely you not. Know, and, and that's I, I use thing. my example, but the, in, in the business world, and you know, we used it in the military as well, but I remember getting my uh, degree and you know, I, I'd never heard the term leadership by walking around. They, they referred to that through CEOs. Um, how did we know there was some kind of throwy, rakey thing out there that was working for people to keep protect? Because the general, the boss, the CEO was out there traveling around hearing about the plight of the quote unquote mailman. You know, what's, what's wrong with the mail room? You guys don't get your mail because your boxes are all wacky and I'm not allowed to make these changes. Why not? Because the rules are, you know, and you get to something like that. And then the CEO, because he knows the plight of the average mailman or the plight of the guy who wants to throw the rake on the eye, it doesn't matter where you are. All of a sudden you can make some changes and, you know, our mail may not deliver the bottom line, but maybe getting our mail quicker than we did before and getting the mail guy downstairs more efficient, maybe it does add to some part of the bottom line because you, you wouldn't have known it if you hadn't been there and getting to see the plight of the mailman. There you go. Well, then that, that is the immediate debrief stuff. If you're out there and you're thinking about this, right? You're, let's say you're a worker, let's say you're an employee, let's say you're looking at this from a specialist perspective because we have tons of specialities right mm -hmm. military occupational specialties we have folks that are out there in uh call it corporate america or small businesses that are starting to to scale and grow and maybe they scaled out of a technical background so they have a specialty let's say in developing software and developing hardware whatever the case may be and now they have to implement this leadership track within their organization. We understand what it's like in the military working with folks who are specialists and they only focus within their specialty, within their trade. We have to have those people. They are there especially to be able to provide advice and other ways that you can employ these special technical things. And their thoughts definitely need to go down on paper. How do we get their thoughts without just pulling them in for another meeting? They do their debriefs. They combine their debriefs into after action reports. We can go through that in an after action review and we can see systematically what needs to change. It could be something as simple as including air conditioning inside of a Humvee in the middle of the summer. Seems like a good idea, but I guess you people are weak. You know, you got to be comfortable in the heat of the Iraq or whatever. But it's something to where it's deadlining our trucks. It's been on numerous debriefs. We've, you know, this is a problem. This is an issue. How do you get your feedback as a specialist, as a tradesman, let's say, you put your feedback down on that debrief. It combines all the way up into after actions. We as the leadership track can systematically change things, we're all on the same sheet of music, right? And it's that mission buy-in, that lower turnover that we're trying to get out of people to be able to rise to the challenge, right? So imagine the feeling of accomplishment if your little recommendation down in your little place in the organization led to some sort of change. And you're like, well, then that was worth it working in my little spot kind of was worth it. Somebody paid attention to what I was doing. And I was thinking as you were talking, as leaders, there are those who go, don't say anything to anybody. It used to be a saying, you know, there's never, never a bad opportunity to keep your mouth shut, especially in front of important people. But then you know, there's times when you, you're asked the question and you should have that freedom to speak truth. And, and I say that it, it's not without its, a little bit of filter um but at the same time you talk about debrief you want to talk about a good time to have a debrief is the boss comes down you have this conversation with the boss you bring up your new idea the boss says that sounds good probably your next conversation should be with your immediate boss to tell them what just transpired so that it doesn't become you know that kind of communication is important as well because your boss doesn't want to be blindsided <laughs>